Hi YouTube, this is Tamara, your favorite spy, coming to you with another video, stress, shoe stressing video. Um, to all my new subscribers, thank you for tuning in. And as always, I'm appreciative to all my loyal subscribers. Uh, the reason why I'm really concentrating on uh, stressing shoe videos is that um, I tell you how God just works things out. Um, I was at an event and I wore a pair of my shoes and people just completely just fell out over them and you know where did you get them where did you get them I've never seen anything like that oh they're beautifully done blah 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 and then I told them that I you know design or redesign I should say shoes uh, by stressing them with crystals and the woman she's she's uh, in retail and has requested me to do a shoe show because um, she thinks I you know I brought some of my other designs to her on another occasion to show her what I was able to do in the different mediums that I work in and so you know one thing led to another and then I'm going I'm doing a full-fledged shoe show and um, so it's kind of putting the cart before the horse because now even though I had a business name in mind getting all that together getting cards and going through the process but the biggest thing is that I have I have to have you know shoes to show and I'm trying to do shoes in just about every style of shoe uh, to show people give people idea of what they may have in their closet and what it you know could look like so I have to do a lot of before and afters photos so they can see what it was and what it has now transformed into being uh, my daughter is even getting in on it she's handling the sneaker side of it the athletic shoe side of it so I'm really proud of her that she's sharing my passion for this and uh, teaching her at the same time you know about business and being a little entrepreneur and um, so that she has the knowledge which is the most important thing always arming our kids so that they are as knowledgeable as they can be in this world and so they they will you know just succeed and reach even greater milestones than we could have ever imagined but anyway um so I'm here to show you two of the latest shoes that I've worked on one shoe which was a redesign I went back and re-redesigned it because it just it just I just wasn't I liked it but I wasn't over the top with it and so I went back and redid it and I'm also um, kind of taking a different spin on shoe stressing because if you have a shoe that has a beautiful pattern or a print on it you don't need to come you don't always need to completely cover a shoe for it to be beautiful um, and this is one of the shoes I, I love the pattern but it just needed something and if you check out one of my and I'm sorry I don't remember what number it is but it's one of the earliest um, shoe stressing videos that I did and it was a beautiful print I brought it to go with a red dress the shoes to go with a red dress and I knew I wanted to in that video I put the um, series of um, a blending of red crystals uh, Swarovskis actually that that ran from a light red to a deep blood red and um, I had only done the front and I wore them and I got compliments on them but it just wasn't enough so go back and check that video so you can see what the original state of the shoes was but here let me let me move these other shoes out of the way out of the shot and just fix the camera here that's my shoe my box in the background but these are the shoes and if you go back and look this was the ugliest flower this is one of the major reasons why I didn't like the shoe in the first place because well not that I didn't like the shoe but I thought it really cheapened the way it looked and I'm gonna try to see if I can show you on an underside okay you can see right there it was a bright red kind of 
I guess polyester is supposed to be, you know, the, you, hey, you, you, you know, just like the fabric that they use in the cheap, well, I don't want to say cheap, but flowers that you would, you know, put in your hair or whatever for kids. And I didn't like it because it was so bright, bright red. And I thought it just cheapened the shoe. So the first thing was that, as you can see, I glittered it. And I wanted to have, I didn't want to just do red glitter because I wanted it, this flower to have some depth to it. And I wanted it to blend, which is this, this is the original part that I had done on the shoe. And you can see it's a blending of, of the red Swarovski crystals. So therefore I wanted the flower to have that same kind of depth. So I used three different colors of glitter obviously red and black and then I threw another one in there to just give it some the flower some depth okay so they just and I just love the way it came out so the second thing what I added new was the, was redoing the flower and then obviously I decided to stretch the heel the heel originally if you check it out in the original video was done in the same fabric I wanted to completely cover it okay and again I did it in now mind you again what I was saying in my I think my last video these are Swarovskis up here okay and you see the fire that's coming up you know you see the sparkle I'm, I'm indoors in my dining room okay these are not and you get the same kind of fire from them and again it was done in the same uh, variation uh, blending and this is just randomly you know whatever stone I picked up that's what I placed in there but random uh, blending of the um, light to dark red stones then I said okay it still needs a little little something so what I did was and I'll show you the inside to show you you can see it's almost like um, a variation of a peacock pattern and you can see some of what would be the peacock feathers, although it's not done in the traditional peacock colors. And so what I did, and this is the inside of the shoe. I didn't do anything on the inside of the shoe. What I decided to do was to crystal highlight that pattern, that leaf pattern. And so I did two. You know, there's one that I didn't do, one that I did do, one that I did do, and then up under here. You know another one that it didn't do it just to accent and just kind of highlight the design and I think that came out absolutely fabulous and so now I am totally and completely in love with this shoe and here's the other one again you know did the flower to really give it some depth and then highlighting the actual leaf pattern so see I turn these into I mean, obviously they weren't plain because they were a pattern shoe, but let me just move the camera back. But I love the pattern, so I would have never gone to completely cover up the shoe. But now, you know, again, it's a one of a kind shoe. Because even if you see somebody with the pattern, they're not going to have all the added accents on it the way these do. So. I love it I absolutely am in love with these shoes so that's the first pair um, in this recent the next one was just a pair of um, plain black uh, well not plain they I mean they did have some gold studding detail on them but just an average black pump done in a suede okay you know nothing out of the ordinary just you know and it did have like I said this this gold studding on it which I liked but then again I didn't like because I tend to accents on shoes I mean I do have some with gold accents but I I tend to go more for the white metals uh, so had these been done in silver I probably would not have done anything to these shoes but I'm kind of glad it wasn't because then it you know so I sat there and I thought I said okay what can I do with these what can I do with these I, I don't want to take away from you know the, the the you know a shoe that will never go out of style is a basic black pump 
It has stood the test of time and will continue to stand the test of time and looks good. It's a shoe that looks good on everybody. And I said, well, what can I do with this? What can I do with this? And not detract from the style of, of what the shoe is. So I kept looking at it and kept looking at it and kept looking at it. And I kept looking at this is this, this stud detail. And I said, oh, well, kind of reminds me of a checkerboard. And then it hit me. That's what I'm going to do. Almost like a Harlequin kind of checkerboard design on it. And so we've gone from this, which I'll be finishing this one, uh, doing this one as soon as the video is over, but I wanted to show you a before and after. Gone from this to this. And I am ecstatic. Look at that. Look at that. And it doesn't require any more of that shoe to be done with that because you know what? If the shoe, if the entire shoe was done like this, it would be too busy. It would be busy and it would detract from the design and it would not be beautiful. But that right there is fierce. Absolutely fierce. And so I was going to, just intending it to, to be just the way it is I mean I may do a small 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 and I mean small something down here on the heel but I figured I said okay it, it needs just a little something else on it and I, I know I wasn't going to cover the rest of the shoe because like I said it would just been too busy but look at that look at that is that gorgeous and so, um, I know I'm going to get a lot of requests for this. And as much as I love this shoe, it was one of the hardest shoes to do because I can't even begin to tell you how hard it is to place. You see the jet black stones on black fabric. You can barely see where you're placing them. And it was, it was critical to the design to make sure that my squares, um, and over here you see it transitions over into diamonds. I love that. I love how it does that. Um, but it was just very hard with, with doing black on black stones and so then I did uh, just this going up the back of the shoe just as a little you know give them a little something as you're leaving you know you, you hit them hard coming and then you give them a little something when you're going I absolutely adore these shoes and I'm be wearing them to church this Sunday and you watch the, the people that fall out over these shoes so those are the two um, currently that I'm working on and I uh, will be coming with more uh, for those of you who obviously won't be able to come to my shoe show but just to, to you know the videos give you this give just give you ideas of what you can do and don't always be of the mind that the shoe has to be fully stressed to be beautiful so until next time thank you again please rate comment and subscribe suggestions for designs anything at all you know uh, and I'll be sure to answer all right guys talk to you later bye